Oh, hi there, I'm Guy Fox. I hereby call to order this Council of the Holy Church at Nicaea. Our purpose here is to come to an agreement about the divinity of Jesus Christ and to draw up a creed for the church beliefs. Who would like to speak? Me, Your Excellency. Very well. Proceed. I say today, despite the current orthodox view that appears to be taking over our faith, that Jesus Christ was both fully God and fully man. Otherwise, how is it possible that he could have saved creation? Only the creator can save creation, not any created thing. I object! Yes, Arius? Yeah, I object. Jesus was a great teacher, and he definitely saved us, but he was not divine. He was created. There was a time when the sun was not. Say it with me! In pote hote uk in! In pote hote uk in! But as I said before, how could a created thing save another created thing? Also, how do you explain what it says in the first chapter of John? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus Christ was the Word. He was with God, and He was God. From the beginning of time, Jesus also said, I and the Father are one. You cannot say He was a good teacher. He was either a liar, or He was, in fact, divine. You're an idiot. Who needs to listen to this old grandpa teacher anyways? He represents the old, and old is bad. Am I right? You're, You're right. right. Enough quibbling. We want to avoid this kind of thing. I rule in favor of Athanasius. Athanasius, excellent argument. Arius, shut up. Derg. Anyway, as I was saying, Jesus Christ is divine. He is one with the Father, and is the foretold Messiah. I object! Uh... Yes, Rabbi? Jesus was not the Messiah. The Messiah hasn't shown up yet. But who else came into the world as a king, but of low birth? Who else healed the sick and made the blind man see, just as it was prophesied? Who else lived a perfect life and then was condemned by those he came to save and died and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures, without trickery or optical illusion? And if the Messiah were yet to come, what would he do? What prophecy is there to fulfill that Jesus has not already fulfilled in his lifetime? You're an idiot. I well ye kingdom all oh, man. Once again I rule in favor of Athanasius. Anyway, as I was saying, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, one with the Father and the Holy Spirit. God created heaven and earth and all creation, including man, but man sinned and fell, causing God to Asset. Asset the God. Of course there's a god. You're an idiot. Good work, Athanasius. I object! To what, Eusebius? We need to talk about the Jewish wars, and origin, and the martyrs, and what about a super long ecclesiastical history? We're here to talk about basic belief, not in-depth history. Plus, I don't want to bore people to death. I could barely make it through your ecclesiastical history without depression and tears and serious doubting of the importance of history. Thus far, Athanasius. Thank you, Eusebius. You may go now. Are there any more objections? Can I go to the bathroom? No. <laughs>